post-operative instructions, W4 implant solution. Please review the following information regarding proper post-surgical care for your W4 implant solution. It is imperative that you follow the instructions carefully to maximize your healing and improve the long-term outcome of your W4 implant solution. Use caution following surgery. Do not disturb the surgical areas today. Do not rinse vigorously or probe the area with any objects or your fingers. Do not smoke for at least two weeks since it is detrimental to healing. Temporary prosthetic. In most cases, a temporary prosthetic is provided for aesthetics and space maintenance. It is not a definitive restoration, and in almost all cases, the bit will need to be adjusted almost immediately after surgery. This appliance should not put pressure on the tissue. Pressure from the appliance can cause failure of the implant. If pressure is felt from the appliance, it needs to be adjusted by our office. Brushing. Begin your normal hygiene routine the day after surgery. Soreness and swelling may not permit vigorous brushing of all areas, but please make every effort to clean your teeth within the bounds of comfort. Brush the prosthetic with a toothbrush and water and avoid brushing the tissue. Do not use a sonic care around your implants until we give you authorization. Usually, this will be four to six months. Do not use a water pick or electric flossing device. Be aware of any other device or mechanism that can introduce vibrations. These devices can cause implant integration issues. Mouth rinses. Keeping your mouth clean after surgery is essential. Rinse with warm salt water for 30 seconds for three to four days after your surgery. Bleeding. Intermittent bleeding or oozing is normal. Bleeding should never be severe. If it is, try repositioning fresh packs to allow you to place firm pressure over the area. Always hold pressure for a minimum of 45 minutes at a time. If bleeding persists, you may substitute a tea bag for the gauze. Wet the tea bag with hot water, squeeze it damp dry, and wrap it in a moist gauze. Apply pressure over the surgical area for 45 minutes. If bleeding remains uncontrolled, please call our office. Gauze will look light pink, spotted, or rusty colored when bleeding is controlled. When bleeding is controlled, gauze may be left out. Swelling. Often there is some swelling associated with oral surgery. You can minimize this by using a cold pack or ice bag wrapped in a towel and applied firmly to the face or cheek adjacent to the surgical area. This should be applied 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off during the first 12 hours after surgery. Nausea. In nearly all cases, if you experience nausea, it is most likely from your prescribed pain medication. Allow the nausea to subside and take a smaller dose at your next interval. Often, breaking the tablet in half is sufficient to control pain without nausea. If nausea persists, please call our office. Diet. Do not chew on your new implants. Chewing on your implant before we have determined that it is completely healed may make it fail. Take out gauze packs while eating. Eat any nourishing food that can be taken with comfort. Avoid extremely hot foods. After two weeks, you can progress to solid foods at your own pace. It is important not to skip meals. If you take nourishment regularly, you will feel better, gain strength, have less discomfort, and heal faster. If you are diabetic, maintain your normal eating habits as much as possible. Follow instructions from us or your physician regarding your insulin schedule. On the day of surgery, do not use a straw, spit, or suck on anything. After surgery day, straws are okay to use as long as you don't have any further bleeding. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact our office. Dr. Chris can also be reached on his mobile phone after hours at 982-978-0548.